Hey, I'm Chris Bartlett. And I'm Elise Sontheim, and you're watching Ward TV. Last week was the Chinese New Year, and the Chinese classes partook in celebratory acts around the school. Ward TV was there to cover the celebration. But first, our question of the week. Check it out. My favorite part of the Olympics is ski jumping. Men's figure skating. Speed skating. Biathlon. We like curling. When the ski racers fall. Male figure skating, because their clothes are so hot. Has to be curling. Definitely the half pipe. Figure skating. My favorite part about the Olympics is the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. My favorite part is curling. When we beat Canada in hockey. Bob Sledding. This week we'll be raising money for the victims of the Haitian earthquake. We'll be raffling off a brand new iPod Touch. You can purchase raffle tickets during homeroom for $2 a ticket. We are also encouraging students to donate any amount to the relief effort. Remember, it's the effort that counts. Ward's Chinese class researched facts to learn more about the Chinese New Year. They found out that this year is the year of the tiger. To celebrate this coming of the new year, the community likes to perform lion and dragon dances to express gratitude and bring good luck and scare away evil spirits. For a symbol of prosperity, family members give each other a hung bao or a red envelope commonly containing six dollars, since the number six is lucky in China. The Chinese class made firecrackers with Chinese words of congratulations for the new year and hung their pride over the doorways. The Chinese New Year is one of the most important holidays in China, and so the Chinese class wishes you prosperity for the New Year, or... Welcome back. You're watching War TV. This week, rehearsals began for this year's annual Interact Talent Show. War TV would like to give you a sneak peek at Ward's Finest. But first, as Black History Month comes to a close, Ward's very own Rajay Pessoa wrote a poem about Black History Month. Then, Terry Corkin with the Mustang Minute. Check, Check it out. out! Poetry enters into another world, where we can all be one. One people, one voice, not some, but one. Live in America, become American. Even though we may be Jamaicans, Asians, or Haitians, we are all now one nation. Slavery diminished, but there's still segregation. One school, one country, one world, but still with the separation. We are all so human, but so unhuman. It takes one month to remember African American. Did you notice that it still says American? Where's the recognition? Where are the notifications? We are all one people, just from different nations. Not just African Americans, but there are other mixes too. We recognize them, how about you? No, we weren't selfish, that is true. We didn't ask for the month. It was a small something for what we went through. What we went through to get where we are and what we did to get this far. This Black History Month let us stand up with our heads up high and our dreams up too. And we give you thanks because we couldn't be one without you. Remember to be proud of who and what you are. I look around and there's one of me and nine of you. More importantly, there's 10 of us. I look towards the future for 337 days, but for 28 days, I look at the past. And I thank my ancestors for fighting so I can stand where I am today. February is Black History Month. The month, this month is a time to look back and recognize how black people rose up after they were being looked down on. They fought so hard, so today we could stand as equals with everyone else. I follow in their footsteps and strive for racial equality. I speak up because I love who I am and I think I can make a change just like they did. We could stand together and make a difference. And I don't mean we as blacks, I mean we as an all races together because no matter what, we're all still humans. Make your voice be heard and let the world know that everyone is equal. I'm lucky because one man's dream came true and now I'm the same as you.
Hey, I'm Terry Corcoran, and this is the Mustang Minute. Word Wrestling has done it again. Not only has the team won the Class L title for the second year in a row, but they also won the SAI Championship. For those of you who don't realize how big an accomplishment this is, Danbury has won the FCI Championship for the past 24 years in a row. Congratulations to them. We'd also like to congratulate all other teams that have qualified for the postseason. The boys' basketball team has advanced to the state tournament for the first time since the split of the two high schools. The girls' basketball team has qualified for the state tournament for the 17th year in a row. The boys' ski team is still undefeated and will take on Ridgefield, who is also undefeated, to take the number one seed in the state. Congratulations to all of the teams on a great season. I'm Terry Corcoran, and this has been the Mustang Minute. Well, that's all the time we've got. For those of you who are 17 years or older, don't forget that if you want to participate in the blood drive, permission slips are due by Monday, March 1st. If you have any questions or would like to pick up a permission slip, please see Ms. Rassioppo in T36 or Ms. Higgins in P33. I'm Chris Bartlett. And I'm Elise Sondheim. And, and we're, we're out. out. You really want that to be a <laughs>